that you see on college basketball some. You know, if I were a nine, ten-year-old kid, I wouldn't mind doing that. If I could get in free. I'm sure they could find somebody. And they could give me a bag of popcorn, I'd be happy. (laughs) 31-23. 357 left to play in the first half as Xavier Bumpus will tighten the sneakers up and step to the free throw line. On the floor for Caldwell County is Thompson, Wilson, Bumpus, Whittington, and Parker. Free throw up and no good. Bumpus, generally one of Caldwell County's better free throw shooters. Caldwell County now two of five from the stripe tonight. Second free throw is good. Bumpus at 67% on the season from the strike. Weldon just splits everybody and walks it to the hole, 33-24, lead back to nine. I think that's been the biggest for Central so far tonight. The man Thompson trapped in the corner, ball comes loose, Central gets it, throws it out of bounds off of Jadarius Wilson, and it will be Storm basketball coming the length of the court with 3.33 left in the first half. Kind of danger territory right now, Dennis. Skeen drives just inside the free throw line. Jumper no good. D-man Thompson with a strong board for Caldwell County. And it's Whittington with the lob for Wilson. Just a little too much on that one. I think Carter knew that one as soon as it left his hands. Not enough lob on it. And Wilson unable to pull that one down. Michael Fralix might want to watch coming all the way out on the court like that. You saw what happened to Calipari <laughs> on the last game against Georgia. <laughs> Thompson had the ball knocked to him, just bounced through his hands off his chest and out of bounds. He had a breakaway on the other end with Xavier Bumpus. Nobody within 15 feet of Xavier. Skeen gets the inbound back into Jones. Jones shouldering in on Parker. Shot up no good, but Parker will get called for the bump. Parker stood the contact well and just leaned out too far on the, not a retaliation, but on a counter move. And they're going to give Jones two free throws. That's a guy that they haven't put the foul up yet. And it is the second on Luke Parker. Free throw is good. Ten point lead now for Hopkins Central. Second free throw is good. 35-24, 35-24, Central's going to come back with a little deeper pressure. They'll pick it up just inside a half court. Looking to trap Whittington out of it. Now they trap D-man Thompson. Thompson loses a handle. You saw that trap coming the whole way. And Thompson unable to handle the basketball on the pass. I think he felt the pressure closing in around him on that one. Wanted to get rid of it quick. Skeen. Hits the floor <laughs> accidentally, and some contact, and the foul going on Skeen. <laughs> and how is it? It's always the second one that gets caught on anything on a basketball I, I just, court. I just looked up and saw Carter standing over him. They, they've they hit Skeen with a foul. Well, Carter actually inadvertently <laughs> trips Skeen on a cut through the lane. Skeen went down. Carter was on top of him. I mean, just ready to guard him when he got back up. And Skeen put a little push on Mm -hmm. Carter Whittington and got called for that one. Ball loose on the floor. Skeen got a tip on it. Whittington gets it back up to Parker. Parker to Whittington over to Bumpus. Bumpus, left side, double team, all the way over to the other side to Thompson. Thompson in the corner, guarded by Hall. Wanted to get it back to Bumpus. It's tipped in the lane by Jones, Jones, between three people, still takes it up and in. And this one in danger of slipping away from Caldwell County late in the first half. Two minutes to go in the half, 37-24. D-man Thompson double teamed in the corner once again, but a hold is called. As Thompson was able to do what you're supposed to do, do a double team, he split it, looked for somebody to get it to. And the official across the court called the foul. Again, they they call it on on Drake Skeen, his second. At the line is going to be D-Man Thompson for a couple of Goodwin Insurance free throws. 
or excuse me, this is going to be a one and one. Yeah. Skeen goes to the bench with those two fouls. First free throw is good. He'll get the bonus. And I like how we posted security on the walkway behind the scorer's table to keep the short from going out. Second free throw also good by Thompson. 37-25, under two to play in the first half. Weldon to Jones. Jones, a quick turnaround from the corner. No good. Ball tapped and out of bounds. They're going to call it off of Wilson. Actually, from here, it looked yeah, like yeah, Cole yeah. Horde got a hand on it. I think the uh, players on the court agree with our call as well. That's who they were pointing at. But when the smoke clears, it's going to be Trayvon Jones to put it in play. Jones looks it over into the corner and a good pickoff by Xavier Bumpus. Read that one well, going to Weldon all the time. Bumpus back the other way, pulls up from 10, no good. Hoard with the rebound. Hoard to Weldon, just being hawked out front by Xavier Bumpus. Weldon into the corner, Butcher open three on the way is good. And this one slipping away from Caldwell County, 40 to 25 now with a minute 12 left to play in the first half. Whittington walks it up against an extended 2-3 zone. To Bumpus, Bumpus traveled on the play. He had the open three, turned it down and just shuffled the feet. And a turnover, Caldwell County with a minute four left in the half. Trevor Weldon walks it up for the storm. He'll go right side wing. Look for a cutting. Jones doesn't get him. Has Butcher at the top of the key. He'll fire again and make it. Dwayne Butcher feeling it for Hopkins Central. And the lead is back out now to 18 at 43-25. Under 40 to play in the first half. Ryan Hammond in the ball game. Gets double teamed in the corner. Knocked loose. Hammond throws it and does get it to Whittington. Whittington drives, wanted to kick out to the corner to Hammett. Instead goes out of bounds into the crowd. Went right over the head of uh, your sports edge's Todd Griffin. I wonder if he had the camera ready on that to get that angle of the basketball. <laughs> we'll check with him after the game tonight to see what photos he may post of that. I think he called it ball high and outside. <laughs> Missed it by that much (laughs) as Butcher has it now top of the key to Jones, 14 to play. Weldon now with Bumpus on him. Bumpus takes an elbow to the head. Weldon drives in the lane up and in. Four seconds for Caldwell County, quickly into Bumpus. Bumpus sees the clock, comes across half court, launches. No good, but gets fouled on the play by Butcher. 20-point lead right now, but it looks like Xavier Bumpus will get three Goodwin Insurance free throws. So there's no time on the clock. Foul is on Dwayne Butcher. Well, I mean, they've got that messed up now. I've got him with two fouls. Three free throws coming up for Xavier Bumpus. Misses the first. Caldwell County. Back and forth in the lead late in the first quarter. Bumpus makes the second, but it's been all Hopkins Central here in the second quarter as they've opened up now a 19-point lead. Bumpus tries to cut it to 18 on the way to the locker room, but cannot. And we will go to the locker room with Central in control of this one at the half. It's Hopkins Central 45 and Caldwell County 26. We'll be back with the Travis Construction and Concrete Halftime Show next on WPKY. Your local McDonald's wants you to know that they are ready to serve you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dine-in or the drive-thru is always open, and they offer curbside pickup service. To avoid the wait in the drive-thru, you can download the McDonald's app and try curbside pickup. Stop in soon and enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner at your local McDonald's. Proud to be a part of this community. McDonald's of Princeton, proud supporters of the Caldwell County Tigers. Fredonia Valley Bank is proud of our area senior athletes and is celebrating their accomplishments. 
They're sharing special senior stories featuring the class of 23 in a senior spotlight. Follow YourSportsEdge.com or download the app and listen for updates on 103.3 WPKY. As Fredonia Valley Bank gives our senior athletes a special moment to shine. You'll find over 30 years experience to work for you at U-Ride in Princeton. They are hometown proud and ready to serve your vehicle needs from start to finish. And they do it all safely. You'll find variety and quality vehicles along with on-the-lot financing. And of course, you can always apply online at uridesales.com. Stop by or call for an appointment today with one of their friendly sales staff at U-Ride on the Marion Road in Princeton. 270-365-3018. Hometown proud. Go Tigers! KFC Princeton, offering their amazing fried chicken and all the fix-its. You can dine in or call your order for pickup inside or use their convenient drive through Your local KFC is located on the Marion Road in Princeton. Whether you enjoy a quick lunch or take dinner home or maybe take something to a friend in need, they're always ready to help. They're also looking for team members at KFC. Ask about becoming a member of their team. KFC on the Marion Road, where they appreciate your support and they are Princeton strong. Penny Royal Hospice is offering a free service to those who may not yet be ready for hospice care. Hospice Executive Director Kelly Martin explains. And transitions is for those folks that are not quite hospice appropriate or not ready for hospice just because they're not ready to just embrace the fact that terminal illness has come and life is limited. So we have a, a bridge of for people who are not there yet, who may still be receiving different types of treatments, who may have a chronic illness that just won't go away, but it's frustrating and they're trying to navigate the healthcare system. Transitions is a free, non-medical, professionally managed program providing services to individuals and families coping with a chronic or terminal diagnosis. Transitions offers emotional support as well as case management for clients and caregivers alike. Find out what Transitions can do for you. Contact Penny Royal Hospice through Facebook or learn more at pennyroyalhospice.com. Good luck to all Tiger athletes from Bella Marie Boutique. Go Tigers! Welcome back to the cab and into the Travis Construction and Concrete halftime show. Travis Construction and Concrete for all of your construction and concrete needs, as well as driveways, porches, foundations, basement walls, decorative concrete, remodels, and much more. Good luck, Tigers and Lady Tigers. Here's to building a successful year from Travis Construction and Concrete. We are at the half in Caldwell County Trails, Hopkins Central, 45 to 26. Caldwell County got in a hole early, 11-4 is what they were down when Coach K called the first time out of the ball game and kind of lit into the team a little bit. They responded with an 8-0 run. Both teams exchanged the lead back and forth in that first quarter. Central started to pull away late, went into the second quarter and got ahead early by four when we had some clock issues down at courtside. After that, Central really pulls away, and now I don't think the uh, clock issues have subsided, Bob, because the uh, clock is out again, <laughs> except for the time. And again, just a lot of traffic in at halftime behind the scorer's table. 45-26, uh, is that where we're at? I did not. Uh, it's 45-26. 40, as uh, we are at the halftime now for the stats of the first half, brought to you by Ackridge Farm Supply Ace Hardware, a fourth generation family business. Ackridge has been providing high quality goods and services to Western Kentucky farmers and homeowners since 1933. They offer stores in Fredonia and Eddyville to take care of all your needs. So give them a visit and uh, we'll vouch for them on our new home with the uh, paint. They are phenomenal to work with as far as getting paints for your, uh, your home, so if you have anything like that planned, check out Ackridge Farm Supply for all of your paint needs. They're an outstanding company, and, and uh, here in the first half, Conwell County trailed at the end of one quarter of play, 22 to 18, and were outscored by 15 in the second quarter with Hopkins County Central putting up 23 to the Tigers eight. And that 19-point lead is here at halftime, held by Hopkins County Central at 45 to 26 for the Tigers. Led in the score, led in scoring in the first half by Carter Whittington with nine points, 
He had two twos, one three, two out of three from the charity strike, five points for D-Man Thompson, two two two-pointers, one out of one from the free throw line, four points for Zadie Bumpus on a two-pointer, two out of five from the free throw line, four points for J. Darius Wilson on two two two-point field goals and two points each by Luke Parker and Jack Roach, both on two-point field goals. Total of 26 points here for the Tigers in the first half. The Tigers with nobody in, in serious foul trouble. At the free throw line tonight, the Tigers were five out of 10 in the first half and had nine turnovers. Hopkins County only two turnovers in that first half. Fowler County just uh, very much out-rebounded in the first quarter. D-Man Thompson with three, Xavier Bumpus with three, Luke Parker with two, Carter Whittington with one. Total of nine boards for the Tigers. Four, Hopkins County Central in the first half. They were led by Trayvon Jones with 14 points, three twos and two threes, 11 points for Dwayne Butcher on one two-pointer and three threes. Eight points for Drew Drake Skeen on a two-pointer, two threes. Six points for Trevor Weldon on three two-point field goals. Two points for Kane Craig on a field goal. Two points for Cole Howard on a field goal. Two points for Neymary Hall on two out of two from the charity stripe. Hopkins County Central with seven threes in the first half to Conwell County's one. Uh, in uh, Hopkins County Central at the free throw line in the first half, four out of four from the charity stripe. So, uh, And, Bob, it looks like they have changed a two to a three uh, at the half because they do have the score now 45-27. Uh, Caldwell County, somebody apparently got credited with a three instead of a two. I'm not sure who that is. You no, know, I'm not sure either. So with 204 left before we tip this one off, Caldwell County made a good run, but we saw a, a tough time there late in the uh, second quarter. It looked like things were starting to slip away. A lot of pressure from Hopkins Central getting up and down the court, and Caldwell County just could not hang. They gave up a, a few easy buckets for Central, and we're, Central was able to pull away and led by as many as 20 at one point. Well, we're, we're still definitely not out of the game. Uh, if, we, if we can come in and kind of we we have to outscore them in the third quarter and I would say we'd have to outscore them by seven or eight uh, to, to, to get that 18 point lead down to somewhat manageable uh, for the fourth quarter but uh, these kids can get hot like we saw them in the first quarter uh, really made up about a seven point deficit uh, with nine quick points so it's, it's one of the things that uh, we've got to have shots go down. And as I mentioned, we were just severely out-rebounded in the, in the first half. We're going to turn that around. That's going to wrap us up on the Travis Construction and Concrete Halftime Report. Travis Construction and Concrete is your one place to go for all of your construction and concrete needs. They do driveways, porches, foundations, basement walls, decorative concrete remodels, and a whole lot more. So give them a call. Here's the building a successful year from Travis Construction and Concrete. And we're just about ready to start the third quarter, and that's going to be brought to us by our friends out at Cozy Living. Located here in Princeton on Northfield Drive, beautiful furniture, baby furniture, gifts and registry, and home decor. They want to have, to have your business. It's after Christmas. Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't know whether you buy your a sweetheart a, a, a furniture, a desk, a chair, uh, but they have them out there in case you want to. Cozy living, everything a home should be. Just about to get underway uh, here in the third quarter. Conwell County will inbound it uh, side midcourt for the call, Dennis Stevens. Thank you, Bob. It's going to be Luke Parker to put it in play for the Tigers. See if they can bite into this now 18-point lead. They changed the point at halftime. Whittington drives the lane up and in. Nice move. Got in the lane. Spun right off the glass and in. 45-29. Tigers trailed by 16. So not sure who got credited 
with the extra point. We'll check on that after the game. It had Maybe. to be a free throw in there somewhere because we only had one three. A three all the way and way off the mark. Trevor Weldon rebound comes down to Luke Parker. Parker gives it up to Whittington. Whittington double team back to Parker. Parker kicks it out to Whittington. Pass was a little off center or Whittington may have had a shot at a three on that one. Now it's to Bumpus. Bumpus off a screen. Pick and roll, Parker up, no good. And ball rebounded by number three, Trayvon Jones. Jones back the other way, can't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line. And Jack Roach has just uh, earned his third foul of the evening. Roach, a real spark second, plug in that. Uh, second foul. Free throw good by Jones. Roach really has sparked the Tigers with his intensity and, and hustle and, and tough play. Tough, tough in, play. In that first quarter, really got Caldwell County going back in the right direction after falling behind early. Jones converts both free throws. 47-29. Hopkins Central yet to miss here at the free throw line tonight. Central full court man-to-man pressure. Caldwell County breaks it. Whittington gets in the lane, puts it up and in. Overhaul. Where those shots weren't going last week, they're going tonight for Carter. Another pick and roll to Hall. Hall goes kick it out into the corner to Jones for a three. Jones makes it. And a Madisonville Community College timeout on the court, 50-31 with 6.37 to go in the third, back here in 30 seconds. At Goodwin Insurance, they select their insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with the agents at Goodwin Insurance, you can count on receiving fast, courteous professional service with quality protection. You deserve someone that provides comprehensive coverage and is working alongside you in your community. Contact them today for a quote. Goodwin Insurance of Princeton, Cadiz, or Marion, or online at insurewithgoodwin.com. Back here at the cab, 6.37 to play in the third quarter. Conway County under pressure in the backcourt. We'll inbound it in backcourt for the call, Dennis Stevens. Conway County facing that pressure, and Steen gets a hand on it but dribbles it on the baseline. Whittington looking at the official on the side, said, what about over the back here? He was all over and really was. Had Whittington saddled up on that one. Whittington. And it's going to be Skeen picking up the foul on Whittington. I think that's a good job by Carter Whittington just to get some attention to what was going on on that. And that is Skeen's third Caldwell quickly in this time to Bumpus. Bumpus, good behind the back dribble. Takes it to the hole, up and in. Coast to coast, Xavier Bumpus. Caldwell back within 17. Weldon tries to answer on the other end, does not. Ford with the rebound and a reach-in foul is going to be called on number two, Xavier Bumpus. Will be Xavier's first foul of the evening. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the Hopkins Central new uniforms, Bob. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to sit here and. It's not what make... you're used to seeing uh, Hopkins Central over the years. But at least they have the numbers where contrasted read, enough where you can read them. Skeen with a jumper is no good. D-Man Thompson grabs the board for Caldwell County and gets fouled trying to get out of the double team. And that may be the fourth on Skeen. It, it is. He picked up two quick ones. Here early in the third quarter, still 6.09 to play in the third. You know, sometimes you just have to back off, Dennis, if you think you haven't fouled. But they he, he's going to be missing that lineup. Well, if you have three fouls, you're not yeah. going to go trying It'd to reach for the ball. Super aggressive, 85 yes. feet from the basket. Bumpus, top of the key, inside Parker. Parker goes up for the shot, no good. Rebound, Wilson, no good. D-Man Thompson knocks it out. You like seeing that out of Parker, though. That's a yes. plus. That's, yes. what, four games nice into looking, his return? And he has a nice-looking shot. Absolutely. It just, it just didn't go down. His first game back, not really looking to shoot, was looking just exclusively to pass. Now let him start looking to take that shot and get open in that lane that close. More will fall than, uh, than miss. 
Colwell knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay Central Basketball with 5.37 left to play in the third. 17 points, Storm lead right now. Double team in the corner. Ball knocked loose, and it's going to stay Storm Basketball. Caldwell County with some good hustle and pressure here, trying to form a trap of their own at times. Weldon gets the basketball to Butcher. Back to Weldon, top of the key. Caldwell County man-to-man. Little give and go with Hall. Hall misses the easy shot. Caldwell back the other way. Bump on Whittington. Not called. Wilson gets (laughs) hammered on the putback attempt. No call on that one. Coach K had his hands up as well as most of the staff wondering where the foul was on either one of those. 5.05 5.05 left to play in the third and a scoring uh, pause here for some minute or so. Butcher all well off on the three. It's Bumpus, takes it for Caldwell County. Euro step, reverse, off the glass, no good. Got to have those shots. Xavier made that shot a yeah, little harder than it had to be. Weldon back the other way. No call on him, misses the shot. Bumpus hustles it back, kicks it into the corner to Whittington. Whittington in the lane, shot up and crawls over the front of the rim and in. Caldwell within 15. They've trailed by as many as 20. Butcher, jumper, well short. And it's Bumpus getting the rebound and getting knocked to the floor. Looks like it's going to go on Horde for Hopkins Central. Bob, just a lot of contact, and these are the games that this one gets close. Could get a little chippy down towards the end. It's it's bordering on chippy right now, Dennis, I would say. Madisonville Community College timeout on the court. Tigers trail by 15, back in one minute. Hello, I'm Sheila Gates with Farmers Bank. Is your money working hard or hardly working? With a Farmers Bank certificate deposit, you get a safe investment with a predictable return on your hard-earned dollars. Call today and see how we can make rising interest rates a good thing for your bottom line. For a limited time only, ask about our new money promotion that gives you an even higher rate. Farmers Bank, live unique, bank unique, member FDIC. Terms apply. When we say classic hits, we mean American woman. WPKY Worldwide at WPKYonline.com WPKY Back here at the camp, Gold County in the backcourt, will inbound it, bring it to length of four in the call, Dennis Stevens. Carter Whittington walks it up for Caldwell County. He's got player right on the uh, stripe with him. I was wondering if Xavier was going to get across the stripe. Mm-hmm. Xavier now with the basketball, works on Butcher, and Butcher's going to get called for a hand check outside the uh, three-point line. Good drive by Xavier Bumpus. It will be Caldwell County taking the ball out just in front of their own bench. Bumpus to put it in play. Back to Bumpus from Parker over to Whittington. Whittington. Off the glass and in. Nice kiss off the glass high. Carter's got that angle down tonight. Farmers Bank shot Carter Whittington. Farmers Bank and Trust Company, your home of the Tiger debit card, the card that gives back to future athletes of Caldwell County. Jones, a long three, air balls it out of bounds. And Caldwell County chipping away at that lead. Once at 20, now down to 13. And still a lot of time here in the third quarter. We're, we're at 334 and counting. Or is it a running clock now or what? No, I, I don't know why. <laughs> They've got to stop now at 327, but uh, about 20 seconds ran off of that. A lot of equipment malfunctions tonight at the uh, scorer's table. I'm glad I'm not the athletic director uh, here (laughs) because that's been a nightmare down at the scorer's table tonight. 
And, and it might be that we want to buy a rubber mat, Dennis, and cover up all those uh, cords that people trip over, step on, kick, whatever. Yeah, at, at worst, some really, really good duct tape on Bob. Yeah, oh, yes. Xavier Bumpus brings it up for Caldwell County. They put 336 back on the clock. Inside it goes to Parker. Parker drew the double team, kicks it back out to Whittington. Into the corner it goes to Thompson. Thompson closed off. 2-3 zone by Hopkins Central. Whittington down to Wilson. Wilson with a nice turnaround from about nine feet. Pretty form on yeah. that one, Jay Darius Wilson. <laughs> Caldwell County back within 11. Hopkins Central without their leading scorer, Drake Skeen, picked up fouls three and four early in this quarter in the first two minutes. Central mm. tried to walk a tightrope over there on the pass. Weldon did all he could, but spun a sneaker toe onto the stripe, and it's a turnover. Hopkins County's first turnover here in the second half. Cobble County has no turnovers here in the second half. And some uh, confusion as they are trying to – thought no. they were going to wipe up something now. They're pointing at Xavier Bumpus for something in the backcourt. The officials have the play stopped. Is it blood maybe or, or what? I'm not real sure. What I'm not the... sure what the conversation is. Coach K out on the court right now. He's calling for a, well, you know, something on the court. We'll see what it is. It's inside the uh, lane area on Hopkins Central's end. Coach McGowan going over, and uh, we'll see what the holdup is on this. It may be some blood on the floor. Somebody, or are they putting on a, yeah, Matt Freilich, Coach Freilich, going out with a rubber rise glove and pointed is shown by the referee where the uh, apparently the drop of blood is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, and maybe we're looking for some peroxide. I'm not real sure what the what, what well, the correct treatment is to the Coach McGowan. Weenie is uh, well, they're bringing out a container uh, of something. I don't know if it's uh, Clorox or <laughs> Morton <laughs> Salt at this point. I really don't know. Three, 254 left to play in the third quarter. This uh -huh. has been a game with a lot of stops and starts due to uh, technical glitches. Now blood on the floor inside the lane area in front of Central's bench. I hope we don't uh, uh, start peeling off paint, Dennis. And <laughs> yeah, because that is some fresh paint. <laughs> Absolutely. The floor. Just redone prior to this season here at the cab. Much more modern looking floor. Uh, and I, I love the logo in the middle with the big tiger and the interlocking seas. Uh, just a, <laughs> a major uplift to the floor here at Caldwell County High School. Maybe we need to get the pep band playing during these timeouts a little bit just to give some entertainment to the uh, place tonight. I'd like the eye of the Tiger, personally. Caldwell County puts it back in play. The floor is cleaned up, and Carter Whittington will bring it up for Caldwell County. Whittington against a 2-3 zone. Kick back out. Whittington had the open mm -hmm. three, now drives, and he's going to be fouled on the play. Good play inside by Jay Darius Wilson, really catching mm -hmm. the ball much better at this stage in the season that he did early in the year. He's got amazing potential. Wilson out to Thompson. Thompson's pass into the corner looking for Whittington is knocked out of bounds by Weldon. It'll stay Caldwell County basketball. Cade Rowland set to check in. And some more, somebody, somebody's dropping some blood somewhere as the officials have stopped play again. Let's let's find the culprit and, and uh, maybe yeah. put a Band-Aid on that I'll person. I started to say Band-Aids would really go a long way in this game to keep this this one flowing a little bit. Now another stoppage 
in play as Caldwell County has to clean up blood from the other end of the floor. Let's take a 30 second break and come right back. Caldwell trails this one 50 to 39. We'll be back in half a minute. KFC Princeton, offering their amazing fried chicken and all the fix-its. You can dine in or call your order for pickup inside or use their convenient drive through Your local KFC is located on the Marion Road in Princeton. Whether you enjoy a quick lunch or take dinner home or maybe take something to a friend and eat, they're always ready to help. They're also looking for team members at KFC. Ask about becoming a member of their team. KFC on the Marion Road, where they appreciate your support and they are Princeton strong. Hancock's Neighborhood Market would like to wish the Tigers all the best of luck this year. And we are back at the cab as the uh, coaching staff taking care of the, what we assume, Bob, are drips of blood on the floor. We knew the game was getting physical in the third quarter, not to make any light of that. And that probably plays a hand in what you're finding on the floor right now because they were letting a lot of bumping and uh, really pushing guys off the ball going on so far in this third quarter, and I think that's some of the after effects. And we've made the comment, you know, the game was getting a little chippy at that point, and maybe this has kind of eased that a little bit, but we'll see. Getting set to put action back in as Parker throws it in to Carter Whittington. Whittington at half court looking over the uh, zone, 3-2 zone now by Hopkins Central. We're bringing Butcher up in that zone. Ball knocked loose. Whittington able to pick it back up. Cade Rowland into the ball game for Caldwell County. Has it knocked loose. Gets it back on that left wing. Rowland drives. Yeah, yeah. And a double dribble called on Cade Rowland. Turnover Tigers. First turnover in the second half for the Tigers. Caldwell trailed by as many as 20, trailed by 11 right now, 50-39, as we near two minutes to play in the third quarter. Lady Tigers lost tonight earlier, 65-44. That Weldon and Whittington matchup has been really good all night on both ends. Weldon's pass picked off by D-man Thompson. Thompson to Carter Whittington. Whittington wants to drive, puts a shot up in the lane, well short, and it's Jones with the board for Central. Back the other way, Weldon to Jones, long three off the front of the rim. D-man Thompson and Weldon battle for it. Possession arrow will keep it with the Hopkins Central Storm. Back into the ball game, Zavi Bumpus. And Carter Whittington will come out for Caldwell County, 139 left in the quarter. Jones gets it into Weldon in the corner, back to Jones. Jones trying to post up on Parker, up and in, and a late whistle on Luke Parker. Parker had a little bit of a bump, but that shot was through the hole before the, the whistle ever blew on that one. I would say more than a split second late, Dennis. <laughs> yeah, I would too, Bob. Shot up and in on the free throw. Hopkins County still to miss, yet to miss at the free throw line tonight. 53. Trying, trying to jinx them. 53-39 the score. Xavier Bumpus at the point. Central playing a 2-3. They'll run the middle guy out to make it a 3-2 at times. Parker soft off the glass, but not soft enough. Rolls off the back of the rim. And it's Central quickly back the other way with Jones. Jones gets it to number 22, Braxton Browning, just into the ball game. Jones may have gotten away with a walk, puts a shot up, and it's no good. And that's that's a bad call, Bob. Mm -hmm. Amari Hall was standing where it says Caldwell on the baseline, threw it back in off a Caldwell player, and they're going to give it to Hopkins Central. I repeat my earlier statement. Now that, I'm, I'm not liking the refereeing tonight, Dennis. That was a, a simply bad call, and if you don't believe us, you can ask Madison French manning the camera for us tonight at the cab here tonight, one of her first nights here with the WPKY sports crew. And that one from here looked like a pretty simple call out of bounds on Hopkins Central. Maybe we can run that back in slow-mo and, <laughs> and get that. Uh, and if corrected. we miss it, I will apologize. <laughs> 
<laughs> Amari Hall gets a long inbounds pass out at midcourt. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Weldon dribbles out front. Central looks content to go until the last shot, but Weldon dribbles it off his foot. Whittington picks it up, and Weldon fouls him at midcourt. Little frustration slam of the basketball by Weldon. And with the right officiating crew, that would be a technical, Bob, because you and I have seen it more than once. Well, that was borderline, Dennis. That that was that was probably 50-50. Whittington drives in, and a tie-up is called as Weldon went in, put two hands on the ball, stopped the progress of Whittington. Possession arrow, though, will stay with Caldwell County. The Tigers to take it out of bounds underneath their own basket. Looking for Wilson. Wilson goes up high, gets it, and off the glass, and the foul. The progression this season of Jadarius Wilson has been something to watch. Great looking for him, too. Seven fouls now on uh, Hopkins Central. Three-point opportunity for Wilson. Free throw up and gets a friendly roll. Back to an 11-point lead with 35 seconds to play. Coach K cheering his guys on from the sideline. Whittington inches out near midcourt working on Weldon. Been one of the more fun matchups we've seen all season. Weldon with a wild shot off the glass, no good. Somebody came out of a shoe, and I think it's D-Man Thompson. Caldwell County got the board. And it's Xavier Bumpus as Thompson trying to hurry up and get back on the offensive end. Bumpus drives, kicks it into the corner. Whittington out to Parker. Parker's got to put it up. No good, and the horn sounds. After three quarters of play, it's Hopkins Central 53, Caldwell County 42, back in one minute. Learn about your heart health with a simple scan. The cardiology clinic at Caldwell Medical Center features a highly trained team of heart health specialists and years of experience in cardiac health and wellness. Our specialists provide a wide range of cardiac specific services, offering coronary artery calcium testing, stress tests, echocardiograms, sleep studies, and more, all right here close to home. To schedule an appointment, visit caldwellmedical.com. Everything fluffy. Oh, I love you so much. Pretty. Ooh, baby, you're looking good. And comfy. Oh, yeah. You can find stuff for all these things and more in the Loyal Listener Big Deal Store at WPKYonline.com. It's a sale every day on gift certificates to great businesses. Gracious Me, Bed and Biscuit Inn, Mr. Malt, Herb Hayes Furniture, and many more. Simply visit WPKYonline.com and click on the Big Deals tab. Support local and save money on all the things you love the most. Good luck, Tigers. Have a great season from Treasures Remembered. Back at the camp here, fourth quarter coming up. Sponsored again by Cozy Living Interiors. Stop in and see Pam. Beautiful furniture, baby furniture. Have is your local U-Haul dealer. Stop in and meet Jake, the store mascot. Cozy Living, everything a home should be. To start the fourth quarter, Hopkins County Central will inbound it at side midcourt for the call, Dennis Stevens. Caldwell County chipped away at that lead in the third quarter. We'll see if they can finish it away. 53-42, Tigers trail by 11, entering the fourth quarter. Jones over to Skeen. Skeen back into the ball game with those four fouls to Butcher. Butcher a long three, no good. Parker with the board for Caldwell County. He'll hand it off to Xavier Bumpus. Bumpus will bring it across the timeline. Up against Weldon. Weldon gets screened off by Wilson. Caldwell County loses the basketball. Whittington looked like he was mauled near midcourt. Central puts it in on the other end. And Coach K really, really unhappy about that no call on Carter Whittington. Bumpus wanted to drive baseline, has it stolen away and then picked right back away by Wilson. Wilson, short range jumper, no good. Amari Hall brings it down strong for Central. One minute gone here in the fourth quarter. Caldwell trying to keep from going 0-2 in the district. Skeen guarded by Whittington, works it to Butcher, out to Hall. Hall has that shot if he wants it because Wilson was way away from him. 
Turns it down, back to Butcher. Yeah, and yeah. Butcher picked it up yeah. and started dribbling again. Yeah. I think he wanted to go to Weldon. Weldon left at about the time Scheme or Butcher picked it up. 55-42, six and a half to play. Whittington looks over that zone. Bumpus will fire over that zone off the front of the rim, no good. Skeen grabs the rebound for Hopkins Central to Butcher. Butcher drives into the lane. They will work it back around to Skeen. Skeen has it knocked loose, able to pick it back up. Whittington with good hands on that one. Skeen to Jones. See if Michael Fralix wants to run a little clock. Does not. Puts a shot up. Jones. <laughs> and Jones gets it to Hall. I think Hall is going to be called with the offensive foul. Well, it was on a rebound attempt because Luke Parker is going to the other end for one and the bonus. Goodwin Insurance free throws. Coach Fralick's not happy with that call. But the free throw missed by Parker. Central back the other way with Skeen. Now Weldon on the right wing, off the screen. Bumpus goes under it. They'll dump it down to Hall. Hall off the glass as he goes underneath. Puts it up off the right side. 57-42, not the start to the quarter that Caldwell mm. County wanted after trimming it down to 11. Lead back up to 15. Whittington. Right side near midcourt, into the corner to Thompson, back to Whittington. Caldwell County looks it over, lobs inside to Parker. Parker gets it to Bumpus, Bumpus. Stutter step, and it's going to be a travel called on Xavier Bumpus. A little bit out of control in the lane. At this stage of the game, Bob, you need those opportunities. Even if you shoot a three and miss it, give yourself a rebound attempt, the empty possessions are what's going to really wear you down as that clock continues to run, and the lead has grown to 15 at this point. Weldon, jumper from the elbow, no good. Hall over the back of Whittington, not called, got the rebound. Gives it to Weldon. Weldon goes up, a lot of contact and no call on that one. Able to drop it in. And Caldwell County in dangerous ground here as we go under five to play. Tigers down 17. Into Parker. Parker has it blocked from behind. Back into the hands of Hall. Skeen now to Weldon into the corner. Butcher fires a three. No good. Hall with the rebound. Into the corner to Skeen. Skeen's three is no good. And the ball knocked out of bounds. They're going to say off J. Darius Wilson. Wilson's going to come out, and Jack Roach back in for the Tigers. 4.29 left to play in the ballgame. Weldon turns down the three on the inbound, gives it back to Skeen. Skeen directs traffic, takes Whittington with him near the midcourt stripe. He'll pass it back to Weldon. Weldon, crossover dribble, tries to get around Roach and does off the glass. Trevor Weldon with the bucket, 61-42. And an 8-0 start to the quarter for Hopkins Central. It's looking like it's about to doom Caldwell County into an 0-2 start in the district. Whittington over that 2-3 zone for a three, no good. Butcher up high for the rebound for Hopkins Central. Quickly back down to Weldon, Weldon. Off the glass, no good, but fouled on the shot. Two free throws coming up for number five, Trevor Weldon. And foul is on Xavier Bump is his second. Weldon's free throw ties Central's biggest lead of the night at 62-42. Caldwell County back in action tomorrow night. We'll take the trip over to Dawson Springs for a 7 o'clock start on the air at 6.30 for that one. Weldon makes two, and the lead now at 21. Central on a 10-0 run to start the fourth quarter. Underneath it goes D-Man Thompson, triple teamed, 
Mm. A lot of contact and no call. Central back the other way with the basketball. Hall takes it to the hole up and in. And the blocking foul probably on Roach. It's Roach or Parker. We'll see which one it goes on. Coach K talking to the official and just kind of rolls his head and walks away. Free throw, no good. 65, 42, three and a half to play in this one. Whittington drives, shot up, no good, but takes a hard knock and finally does get a foul called. Foul is on Namari Hall, his third. Whittington goes to the stripe for a good one insurance. Free throw, first one, no good. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on WPKY Princeton. 3.20 left to go in this one. Second free throw is good. First points of the quarter for Caldwell County, if I'm not mistaken. First, first points, yes. And that coming with 3.20 left to play in the fourth quarter. Not sure what the deal is. Well, we're due for another play stoppage <laughs> because it's happened. Well, I mean, why, why does he get to shoot the third free throw? Maybe a lane violation on Central. Two free throws for Caldwell County's Carter Whittington. But he missed the first one. He had, was not shooting. Right? <laughs> and they're going to call this one on the floor, a foul on Caldwell County as Weldon drives to the basket. Stopping the clock with 3.08 left to play, 65-44. Central to put it in play with Jones. Trayvon Jones has Luke Parker in front of him, lobs it into Hall. Hall off the glass and in. Under three to play. Whittington drives right side, has to pull it back out. Bumpus back to Whittington. Whittington stutter step, thought about the three, back to Bumpus. Bumpus at the top of the key, goes this side to Roach. Now over to Thompson. Thompson double teamed. And a, I'm not sure what the uh, call was on that one, Bob. Was there a foul call? No, I don't believe so. Nobody's shooting. They stop play, and they're going to have Caldwell County take it out. Maybe Central was standing on the sideline mm. when they tried to swipe at the ball, is all we can tell. Parker in the lane, back out to Bumpus. Bumpus to Parker. Parker goes to the hole, gets too far under, tries to pass it back to Thompson, picked off. Now it's Weldon back the other way for Central. Weldon off the glass, no good and picked up by Roach. Roach loses it out of bounds. 2.24 left in this one. Luke Maddox checks in for Caldwell County and Xavier Bumpus is gonna come out of the ball game. Also checking in Ryan Hammett. Hammett's one of those kids that while there were a lot of injuries on the team, Bob, he got some minutes in and he he really improved his game. He's one of those, if, if he gets the ball and uh, doesn't have anybody on him, he stays ready to shoot. And the kid's got a pretty good stroke. Parker's going to come out late and wall in for Caldwell County. And now massive substitutions on the uh, side as Michael Fralix goes to his bench as well. Cade Rowland also checks in for Caldwell County. Roach still on the floor, technically a starter, if I'm not mistaken, Bob. He did start yes. tonight's game, so a starter on the floor is Jack Roach for Caldwell County, but still a young player that uh, needs, needs a lot of reps. Yeah, needs the minutes, absolutely right. Central fires a three, down and out, and it's Roach with the rebound. Gets it over to Roland. Roland brings it across the stripe, into the corner to Hammett. Hammett fires a three. Almost on cue, we <laughs> talked about if that kid gets it and nobody's on him, he's ready to shoot and can drain it and drains a Little Caesars Pizza three-pointer. Ryan Hammett, not shy, and he's, 
I think it's part of the confidence that he's built up early in the season. Well, I guess we have another, our 33rd stoppage tonight. This time, I don't think it's the clock, Dennis. No, it's not the clock, and I don't see anybody cleaning a floor. Or somebody, uh, a technical foul or what? Maybe a jersey number, I bet, because okay. we have a central player uh, looking at his jersey number. So that number not in the book, number 23, and we do not have a 23 on our scorecard. Free throw good by Ryan Hammett. Second free throw is good. So Hammett with five quick ones here in the fourth quarter. And that's what that was, Bob, was a uh, scorebook violation on Hopkins Central. Two minutes even to play in the ball game. Caldwell County takes it outside midcourt. Cade Rowland over to Luke Maddox. Maddox dribbles top of the key, gets it to Hammett. Into the corner goes to Roland. Roland spin move, baseline over to Cannon, Cannon Littlejohn. Cannon got hammered. Yeah, Cannon wanted to go up with that one, but he had a Hopkins Central player hanging on the right forearm. So. Exactly. He was having to lift 180 pounds to get that of, shot off. Kind of adds a degree of difficulty to the shot. <laughs> Littlejohn steps up to the line and drains the first free throw. Second one coming up for Little John. He makes two, and it's 67-51. One minute, 49 seconds left. The mysterious number 23 on the floor for Hopkins Central with the basketball. They'll pass it over to number two, Maddox Hunter. Hunter gives it up to Mitchell. Central just working it around. Caldwell County, man-to-man -man defensively. Maddox guarding the basketball. A minute 27 left to go. Weave out front by Hopkins Central. Not really looking for a shot as such right now. Cade Rowland thought he could jump that pass on the uh, weave. Into the lane, shot number 30. Nguyen Payton. Miss it. Cole County had the rebound, but Central steals it at midcourt. And another steal as they knock it away from Little John. Under a minute to play in this one, 67-51. Central will leave Princeton with a doubleheader sweep tonight. Storm working around the top of the key. 36 seconds. And we've got a lot of fouls before they get in the bonus. Or... <laughs> Have I been missing some fouls along the way? Ryan Hammett comes out of the ball game. Weston Phelps in for Caldwell County along with Blake Bard. Cade Rowland comes out of the ball game for Caldwell County too. Free throw missed by Hopkins Central. Maddox grabs it for Caldwell County. Gets it across midcourt. Maddox looks to drive, cut off. Now crossover pulls up 12 footer off the back of the rim, no good. Hopkins Central with the basketball steal by Phelps in the backcourt. Central able to steal it right back. 18 seconds left. Central pulls it out to midcourt, looking just to run the clock out. Caldwell County has different ideas about that. Six seconds. And Central will ice this one away. The horn sounds and the final here tonight. Hopkins Central with a 67 to 51 win over Caldwell County. District doubleheader sweep for the Storm and Lady Storm tonight. We'll take a break and when we come back, we'll get underway with the Trilogy post game report. That's next right here on WPKY. Fredonia Valley Bank is proud of our area senior athletes and is celebrating their accomplishments. They're sharing special senior stories featuring the class of 23 in a senior spotlight. Follow YourSportsEdge.com or download the app and listen for updates on 103.3 WPKY. As Fredonia Valley Bank gives our senior athletes a special moment to shine. A lot goes into taking care of your property. 
You need equipment with more reliability and versatility built in. Like Kubota BX and L-Series compact tractors, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. HMR AgriPower is your Kubota dealer for sale, service, and parts. Located at 4900 Eagle Way in Hopkinsville. Happy New Year, Penny Ryle Electric members. With each new year, it becomes even more important that Penny Ryle Electric has your most up-to-date contact information on file. By updating your account information, you ensure that Penny Ryle Electric can best communicate usage and outage information.